Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do some meal prepping and we're gonna do some snacks. And the video today is a little bit different in the fact that I'm actually doing this in the evening. It's getting a little later, so we're gonna be cooking as the sun goes down. And to be honest, I've had a really long day. I don't really feel like doing this, but I think that if I film it, it will motivate you guys. So it's motivating me to film. We can motivate each other. And the other reason I wanted to do this is because I know that there's a lot of parents out there, or even maybe if you're not a parent, but you're doing meal prepping for yourself and you work all day and you feel like you just can't squeeze it in and if you take one night out of the week and just plow into a nice list of stuff you guys can have a lot of things stocked up in your freezer and your refrigerator some of these things um, are just something that will last a few days and some of these things you could put in the freezer and they would last a while so let's get into the kitchen and let's get started We're gonna start out with making some lemon cookies. I'm really excited about doing this because it's been a few years since I've made lemon cookies and this version is gonna be a gluten-free version. Um, I will leave the recipe links below, like always, and it seems pretty simple. I think I'll be able to whip these up pretty fast and get them popped in the oven. got the lemon cookie dough chilling in the refrigerator it has to sit and kind of get a little more doughy get cold in there so that I can roll it in the powdered sugar which of course is the iconic part to a good lemon cookie and while it's doing that I'm actually going to make some keto friendly turkey pinwheels they're super simple but they do include bacon bits so I'm gonna go ahead and put some bacon in the air fryer and get that frying up because it makes the best bacon and it makes really good bacon that you can crunch up for bacon bits. never done this before I've never done this before this is gonna be a new technique for everybody involved <laughs> so in the recipe for these pinwheels what she does is she says to take six ounces of cream cheese put it between two pieces of saran wrap or like plastic wrap and then roll it out flat so Hopefully this isn't like some kind of a comical moment and it really does work. I'm just kind of wondering if the saran wrap can hold up to get getting rolled out or if it's gonna tear or what's gonna happen. So let's see.
I'd say it was pretty successful. We had one little puncture here, and I think there's a small one somewhere here, but I think it's gonna work out well. So now you just peel the saran wrap off, and then you can lay down your toppings and your turkey and roll it all up. This is a pretty cool concept and I definitely think I'm going to make other variations of this but this one's supposed to be down the line of like a chicken bacon ranch flavor so now you put it in the refrigerator you let it chill get that cream cheese all firm again and then we will be slicing it up a little bit later next I gotta get some hard-boiled eggs boiling here for another snack that I'm gonna show you in just a little bit but I'm gonna boil up a entire dozen even if we end up with some extras they're something that are nice to have on hand and the girls really like these as well. This is going to be a sweet snack and it's often something that we make around Christmas time or in the winter time but it's called Muddy Buddies or Puppy Chow. It's the same thing. So basically I have a cup of chocolate chips here. I'm gonna mix in a cup of peanut butter, pop it in the microwave and get it all melted together. Now that this is all melted and put together, I'm going to put some cereal. I'm not sure if my bowl is honestly big enough. I may need to pull out a bigger bowl, but I'm going to put some of the Chex or rice cereal, this is just an off brand, in the bottom and then add a little bit of the chocolate, kind of layering it in so that I can stir it around. Another little thing that's great about this, as long as you make sure that your peanut butter and your chocolate chips are gluten-free, this is an awesome gluten-free treat option. Okay, so the sun is going down. I had to turn on overhead lights, but 
I put the Muddy Buddies in the refrigerator just to cool them down because you are going to add powdered sugar to them to make them kind of like powdery. And I think that's why they get called puppy chow is because they kind of look a little bit like dog food <laughs> in some sense till they're done. Um, anyway, so they're cooling. And then I actually pulled out the lemon cookie dough and I'm going to go ahead and scoop them up and get them in the oven. I have the eggs. Um, actually, I pulled them out of my little colander thing and put them back in the pan they were in, put ice over them so that they could cool down quickly. pause in everything I'm doing right now and make a comment about these pinwheels they are so ridiculously good like I know that Corey is going to love these he loves bacon ranch flavor and these are so good so basically the idea is that if you like cucumber you eat them like this on the top of the cucumber and they just make a nice bite-sized snack and they're easy to keep in the refrigerator. They would probably keep for at least a few days. They're just super good and you could do different variations and they're very keto friendly. So I just had to stop and make note that if you're gonna make anything out of this video, you should totally make these. They're so good. Mm, 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 mm. So if you can guess by now, I am making up some egg salad. And when I make egg salad, I literally just cut up some eggs, hard boiled eggs, put in a nice scoop of mayo and squirt in some mustard and mix it all together. And what I'm actually gonna do with these to make them kind of more snackable, if you wanna call it that, I'm going to fill up some celery with the egg salad and put them in a container and put them in the fridge. So there's something easy I can just grab out and go and eat over the next couple days. And then whenever I'm done doing that, I'm gonna shake a little paprika over that. I just think paprika goes so good with hard boiled eggs for some reason. It's a flavor combination that I think is really good. The 
this is the current state of my hair at this point and you know what I'm just gonna work with it <laughs> anyways okay so I'm about to make some fat bombs if you guys have watched my channel before you know that I make fat bombs and if you don't know what that means basically when you eat a keto diet you eat high fat medium protein low carb so if you can make things that have a lot of fat in them like with nut butters or butter or um, that kind of thing they're just like little bites you can make them with cream cheese you can make them all different kinds of ways well the other day I was on Pinterest and I found a recipe for a churro inspired fat bomb which to me sounds amazing cinnamon and sugar and all the yumminess so I'm going to go ahead and whip up the base which is like almond flour and some swirl sweetener and that kind of thing so I'm gonna mix all of that up and then put it in the refrigerator then I'm gonna mix up like a cinnamon sugar mixture I'll show you how that is and then roll them in it All right, I threw them in the freezer and now I'm going to kind of make a cinnamon sugar combination. So this brand is a pretty keto friendly sweetener. It's one that I really like and they do make a brown sugar version um, of this, but the store I was at, they didn't carry that version of it. So I'm gonna give you a little hack here if you're somebody um, that does keto and uses other sweeteners. So basically I'm gonna put the granular version of this into a bowl and then I'm just gonna put literally like a drop of molasses in it and that will give it the brown sugar kind of flavor. Um, and then I'm gonna mix in the cinnamon. Well, that is all the energy I definitely have for today, but thanks a lot for hanging out with me. I hope that this gave you some snack inspiration, whether you're keto or whether you're gluten-free. And I do mention this every now and then, but most gluten-free recipes that have gluten-free flour, if you wanna just make it with regular white flour, you can do the same recipe and use regular white flour. So. Um, you could do like those lemon cookies and just use regular flour in place of the gluten-free flour I want to get better at making my own snacks for the girls and not just always buying or like Corey and I too Not just always buying chips and things like that to have around but knowing that I made it from scratch I know what's in it. I can be a little more picky about what ingredients go in it And I just feel better all around feeding those kinds of things to my family if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed and joined my channel. I do a lot of cooking and meal prep and freezer prep and that kind of thing. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment below, let me know which recipe looked the best to you and which one you want to try. And I'll see you guys in my next video.